and the oil capacity of the 2016 to 2021 Honda Pilot 3.5 liter engine is 5.7 quarts, which includes the oil filter. The engine oil weight is 0W20 and Honda recommends synthetic oil. You will need six one quart bottles of oil, a filter and drain bolt washer. I chose Honda Ultimate Full Synthetic, which is Honda's premium synthetic oil. You will need a 17 mm wrench or socket to remove the oil pan bolt and a flathead and Phillips head screwdriver to remove the splash shields for access to the oil filter. An oil filter wrench is needed to remove the oil filter and an oil catch pan for the oil to drain into. I am also recommending 2 inch wide heavy duty tape to cover holes in the subframe where oil will drain into. Finally, a garbage bag will be needed to catch any leaking oil when removing the oil filter. The first step in changing the oil will be to open the oil cap and pull out the dipstick partially to allow venting of the crankcase so the oil can drain out quickly. Place the oil catch pan under the engine and use a 17mm wrench to remove the drain bolt. This is the first oil change on the pilot, so it is the original factory fill which I am draining here. It should contain extra metals and compounds from the engine breaking in, so I took a sample of the oil and will be sending it to Blackstone Labs for an oil analysis. I will post a follow-up video once I receive the results. For access to the oil filter, remove the splash shields by using a Phillips and flathead screwdriver to remove the screws and clips holding the panels to the frame. You will also need to tape the splash shield to the wheelhouse to keep it out of the way. I used a plastic container to catch the excess oil draining from the engine and removing the oil filter, but as you will see this did not work very well. If I had access to a lift, it would be easier to remove the filter, but working from the inside of the wheelhouse makes it easy to drop the filter and spill the oil. I recommend taping a garbage bag to the engine block so that it captures any excess oil when removing the oil filter. You can see the oil drip down into the subframe through two holes as indicated by the red arrows. The oil will collect in the subframe cavity and due to the proximity of the exhaust, the oil will heat up and produce fumes which you could smell inside the vehicle. The oil will also slowly drip out past the clip holding one of the splash shields in place. I recommend placing a 2 inch wide piece of tape over these holes to avoid any oil from going into the subframe. By now the oil should have completely drained out, so you will need to put the drain bolt back into the oil pan. Make sure to use the new washer that comes with the oil filter when reinstalling the bolt. Before installing the new filter, make sure to fill it with some oil so it is not dry on startup. Also, put a light coating of oil on the oil filter gasket so it does not stick to the engine block. Before installing the filter, make sure the mounting surface of the engine block is clean and that there is not any old gasket material remaining. Here is a better view of the holes in the subframe where the oil can drain into. Reinstall the splash shields. Fill the engine with 5.7 quarts of oil, and then check the oil level on the dipstick after letting the engine cool down after a short drive. I have links to all the parts needed in the description below. Finally, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments.